Um, it's KC and Red Pill Alpha back in here with you fellas again with this heat. You already know, wrists, elbows, knees, feet, shin, and everything to the back of the neck, holding it down, submerging it down, and locking it down with this game. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You dig? A thousand is the goal. And better. You dig? So you can get some of this ear candy game, piping high status. Once again, a thousand or better is the goal. And we almost there, so congratulate ourselves. You dig? My videos are for fair use only. Educational purpose only. If you want to get at me, go to the description below the video. And you know how to get at me. Let's touch bases. Some women are so used to dealing with lames, they believe all men are lames. What do I mean by that? And some of you fellas might run across what I'm about to say, and some of you fellas might not. <clears throat> but when you're in this dating game, you're single, this is something that you will definitely run across when you know your value, when you know your worth. You will hear something like this. Check this out. I met this chick a couple of days ago at the gas station. You know, she was loading up her vehicle, you know, nice fat ass. She was thick. She was nice. You know, I'm like, okay, I got to get up on this. You dig? So um, I pushed up on her, hollered at her, gave her my information, told her to get at me, you know, whenever she get around to it or whatnot, holler. So I'm going to say three or four days pass. I don't know, probably a week. I don't know. I'm moving along with my life. You know, met a few women after that, so I'm moving along. So I'm in the gym working out. And this in particular day was a Friday. And uh, <clears throat> as I'm working out, she hit me. Sent me the text. Hey, this is such and such. I don't want to reveal her name. You know, is this such and such? Am I saying her name right? I'm like, okay, got it. But I'm in the middle of my session. I get that when I get done. You know, this is what I'm doing. So as I got done working out, I hit her back. Yeah, this is us, so you got the right number, cool, boom. Yo, check this out. I hit her up, you know, I let her know. Yo, check this out. What's your availability so we can link up, you know, so I can squeeze on that nice ass? You know, I seen that back there, baby. I seen it all, you dig? She was, you can tell she's laughing and everything, but at the same time, I'm being flirtatious. I'm sending those seduction signs, and I'm throwing it a little Sprinkle, you know, a little sprinkle of humor so she can catch my drift and understand that she can be comfortable. You know, lower her guards coming around. You know, you got to have that about yourself. So I got straight to it. She said, oh, oh, oh whoa, whoa, whoa. She said, well, I'm, I'm free today, right now. Boom, boom, boom. I told her, look, check this out. I'm free tonight. How about tonight? How about, you know, basically she didn't say I'm free today, right now. She was basically like, oh, today? Being available today, um, I'm, I'm available in. I'm, I'm available right now in the day. I said, "No, nah, baby, I'm available tonight at eight o'clock." Cause I wasn't available at that time. I had to leave the gym and go take care of some other business. This is around, I'm gonna say four in the afternoon. So, I guess this was her day off. So she feel, you know, let me get this daytime in with him, you know, and holler at him because she was sending subliminals on how she liked to go down to the river. And she liked to chill at the river, you know, but it's a little chilly. She don't want to go down there. And she guess she was thinking that I was going to go to the river with her and chill, you know. And um, that would have been cool because if I would have went to the river and we, you know, we down there, we chilling. I'm trying to get up in them drawers real tall in the back seat, in the trunk. I don't give a fuck. Man. I mean, we do us. We grow. If it leads to that, it leads to that. That's no problem. But I'm thinking about the nightfall. I saw I'm free at 8 o'clock. You dig? I got other things. Boom, boom. And plus, she just got at me. It ain't like I was expecting her to get at me right there. You dig? So this was her game, and she felt she was dealing with a fucking lame. I'm not the one. So, like, I got I'm a Cleo the psychic. Okay, I know when she's going to hit me. I don't know when you're going to hit me. You dig? So I don't give a fuck. You hit me, I'm available tonight. I'm not available now, you know? And she was like, well, I'm talking about now. I'm not available tonight, sir. Sir. Huh? You know, for one, you being all cooperative and you got a little smart mouth with it. So I said, all right, you know, once again, I'm sending you an invitation. I'm available tonight 
at eight o'clock and we're gonna link up. We're gonna make, you know, get it popping and make shit happen. You know, we're gonna go from there. And when she was like, well, she said, I, I figure if we can at least link up now instead of the night, this and that, this and that. And I said, uh, she said, but uh, if not, that's cool. I'm free. This was like, no, this is, yeah, this is Friday. I said, if not, that's cool. I'm free on Sunday. I'm um, actually, I'm free Sunday. I said, you know what? Actually, I'm free Sunday. You know, boom, boom, boom. Let's link up. You know, get it going. Boom, boom, boom. We, you know, I'm free Sunday around, you know, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. And like I said, 8 o'clock at night. I always shoot the night in. I don't do the daytime because daytime is kind of iffy. I had the daytime sexual situation set up to where we did our thing. But that's more, that's an iffy thing. That's when they try, they try to play around the clock with the daytime thing. You know what I'm saying? They, they will meet up with you and you out spending your money on lunch. You doing some simping ass boyfriend vibe shit. And she ain't going to give you the pussy real talk. She's skating away from that night. She said that night can fall into something seductive. She knows that. Women knows that. Especially if they feeling you and they feel you got that sexual side to you. They know you can take advantage at night. You dig? They know what's up. You know, y'all tipping off alcohol, y'all eat each other, eat you end up up in her ear to give her that ear candy game and it can transpire to something. She knows that. So she tried to avoid that. And I said, okay, actually I'm free 8 o'clock at night, boom, 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 Sunday. And, uh, you know, and I said, cool, you know, just let me know. You know, we can go from there. Just hit me up. You got my number, and we'll go from there. But I am free. Holler at me. She sat up here and told me, <clears throat> you know what? You just let me know when you free. She tried to flip, you know, she tried to flip the thing back around on me. Like, you let me know when you free. Like, I'm trying to get at you, but you ain't trying. No, what you're trying to do is send me through some simp-ass sucker shit in this daytime, and I wasn't having it. If you read between the lines, fellas, that's what she tried to do. And a lot of guys will overlook that just for the sake of meeting a woman, just for the sake of actually being in the presence of the woman, just for the sake of it's a chance I may get that ass. So I'm going to drop everything I got going and chase after that. No, that ain't what the fuck's going on. Not here. Not with me. You just got at me. So you're going to move when I want you to move. Real talk. Like a drill sergeant at this shit. And if you ain't going to move, you move the fuck up out of here. You're wasting my time. And the women's time, who wants to be put in that situation? Who would love to be around a nigga like me? You dig? That's my mind frame, fellas, and that should be yours. So when she said, you let me know, at basically coming off in a masculine tone, being masculine, being uncooperative, I extra out. You must go. I didn't say nothing. Just got rid of her. Deleted the number and kept pushing. I ain't got to say bye. And she didn't follow back up because she know when I asked her out, it was a done deal. She knows she fucked up with the right guy. She knows what's up. This is the right guy right here that you want. You dig? This is the guy right here that's going to shut your shit down like you want to be shut down. This is the guy right here ain't going to be led on by your fucking decisions and what you want. This is the guy right here is going to lead you on. I'm the right guy for that. She knows that. So she ran off. Probably wouldn't follow the simp and probably got him, you know, on him, got leading him on, on some old bullshit, you know, fairy tale path. That ain't happening with me. And some women are like that. They're so used to dealing with fucking lames, they think they can get it off on every man. And her last, what she said was, damn, this is how you move? All within her conversation, oh, you know, boom, boom, boom. Uh, um, you just let me know what you do. Blah, blah, blah. Then she sent a little text behind. This is how you move. I didn't respond to none. I let her go. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, this is how I move. It surprised me because a lot of guys don't move like that. They follow their fucking lead. Trying to get some ass. Trying to get in their good graces when it ain't going to happen. That's how you guys get set up to be controlled. You guys should grab your fucking kahunas, fellas. And let them know, hey, this is a new day, babe. I run this motherfucker. What's a new day for y'all? I've been like this. But tell yourself, this is a new day. I run this motherfucker. This is what it is. And if she don't like it, kick rocks. The next motherfucker going, she's going, you know, follow the program. And if she don't like it, kick rocks. It's too many of them. Fellas, trust me. You will die before you run out of women. You dig? 
That's how many of them come. And they turn 18 every day. I mean, 19, 20, 21 every day. So you never run out. Just keep pushing with life. But you got women like that that will try to play them games through them text messages or on the phone, on the date nap, social media. It don't matter. How, however you meet them, they will try to lead you like that to see if he's going to follow my program. Fuck following yours. I want to, you know, I want you to follow mine. And that's what it is. And a lot of you guys go for that. And it fucked her up. She ran across a guy that didn't go for it. You can tell. This is how you move with about 37 fucking question marks behind it. Like she was shocked. We moving at night, baby. We're going to link up then. I got other shit going. I'm not going to drop what I got going to meet up with no ass. That ain't how I move, fellas. Business is first. You know, Pleasure, fucking around, playing, and you know, that whatever you want to play. You know, whatever you want to call it, or however you want to say it, or however you want to actually phrase it. That shit comes last. Business is first. I got other things going on. I didn't know you was going to call. I didn't know you was going to text. I didn't know you were sending you. I didn't need shit. I didn't, I didn't give a fuck. But I'm not going to stop what I got going for you. No. You're going to move on my time or you get the fuck out of here. And she had a nice body and she was nice looking. And she looked like she would have turned it up in the bedroom. I don't give a fuck. Had thousands of them. Well, I might not be thousands, but hun, I don't know. I don't. You lose count after so many. Who knows? I just know I had these kind of situations before, and I know how to handle it. And that's how you should handle it, fellas. Pay attention to these videos. Like these videos, share them, and subscribe. It's the message. Real talk. They are so used to dealing with lames, they believe all men are lames. Fellas, you must listen to what these women are saying, paying attention to their wordplay in these texts. You dig? Because she got back at you don't mean that she's going to fuck you. Because she got back at you don't, don't mean she's going to be cooperative. Because she got back at you don't mean that she actually liked you in that manner, that sexual manner. She probably liked you in another way. Hey, he can be a motherfucker uh, shoulder to cry on. You know, he can be somebody that, you know, Come over when I need shit fixed around the house or when I need things done. They got dudes for certain shit. Those type of women. I'm not going to say all, but those kind of women, yes, that's how I go down with them. <sighs> I'm the Dixon man. That's it. And if I can't be that, I don't want to be nothing. I'm out. <laughs> Real talk. Holla. Yeah.